Now to create a real functioning website, you have to have a server. And in order to set up a server, you have to have a couple ways to actually connect with that server. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna actually connect with is using SFTP, so it's Secure Fire File Transfer Protocol. Uh, we're using a program for that called Cyberduck. It's free, it's, it's, uh, you can just download it. So go in here, click download. Uh, it's gonna download, go through the installation, just all the defaults, just all you have to do is press next, 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 basically. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and use Cyberduck, and then we're gonna use PuTTY. PuTTY is for SSH, or a secure shell. And basically what it does is allow us to use um, like a Linux server, which is an open source server, um, to actually run commands and stuff like that. And I'll show you some of the basics uh, in just a moment. But anyway, so you go in here, download PuTTY, and you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna find the version that works for you. Um, so in the case of having Intel uh, times 86, then you can download one of these. If you don't have that, just you go down to the zip file or just a general installer file down here. Uh, so there's a few ways to, to run through the SSH, but I use this one because my computer can handle it. Again, if your computer is not 64-bit, you could probably use one of these. Um, so go ahead and download those. And then once they download, uh, we're gonna actually open them up. So uh, I have, this is Cyberduck open. And when you want to actually connect to a server using FTP, it's very similar to like connecting a uh, external hard drive to your computer, except with FTP, you have to use an internet connection and also your username and password. So if I open one, um, I have a uh, username set up at webfaction. So I can go to server, uh, banana build dot web faction null.com so they give me this address and I actually want to use a secure server so SSH SFTP uh, they give me a server that I can actually work with um, and they'll uh, they'll give this to you once you set up with their account and all that and then you use your username and then I already have the password logged in so then I just hit connect and it gets me into all of my folders and in here there's web apps and all types of web apps and then you can just kind of use this as a drag and drop so i can drag in files and folders and whatever i need to that's related to my project um, on here so you could drag in your entire project on here too which we show you how to do in other videos but um, the point is to download this actual software and see how it works and then if you need to disconnect just go to disconnect and then if you need to reconnect just hit open connection and then it'll open it back up uh, if you want to see that general starting or, or your book uh, bookmarks, you just click on that and it'll show you some of your bookmarks. So you can even keep a connection as a bookmark um, if you want. So then you just go to new bookmark and you would actually connect the same way as you do, uh, just like that. And there we go. All right. So anyways, that's how we do a bookmark as well. So now if I'm disconnected and I want to reconnect to that, I just double click on it and it will now allow me to reconnect. Cool. So let's go ahead and exit Cyberduck. Again, you will use it. And if you if you want, you can donate to Cyberduck uh, to help them with their development. Um, that is uh, suggested, of course, if you uh, really enjoy it and use it a lot, I would suggest that you do that. Otherwise, you don't have to. So we'll just say later. And now I want to actually use my SSH. So I downloaded it onto uh, my computer and I'll just drag PuTTY over to the desktop um, PuTTY and then I just open it up. It's going to ask for a host name. So this is going to be the same as um, the SSH name that you'll get. So in this case, it's uh, banana bill at webfactional.com and we're using SSH. So I just hit open. And then it's going to ask me to log in as what? So this is going to be your username. And then it's going to ask you your password for it. And it's not going to show the password or type out anything. It'll just do that. And if I list everything out, now I have commands for um, using, if you notice, I did LS to list everything out on a Windows where DIR will not uh, always work, but it does work too. Uh, but LS is another command that you can use um, using SSH. And then you can go into um, whatever session or whatever pro web app that you're working with. And PuTTY allows you to do SSH on a Windows computer. Um, so that's it for this one. It's just 
basic FTP and SSH. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, we will actually put these things into action when we cover deployment stuff. So uh, we will see you in the next one.